Hey Stephanie, my name is Erin and as promised I'm shooting you this short video just giving you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. Uh, so without further ado we will go ahead and jump in. Uh, the three things that I'll cover in this video are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is going to be content and that is anything that you can see here on your website that does also include the pictures and what the pictures are saved as as well as what's behind the pictures. Um, Google will consider that content as well. And it just kind of gives Google an idea of what services you're offering and what area you're targeting, and that will help you to rank. Um, I obviously cannot see what your pictures are saved as or what's behind them, um, but just for, from a basic content standpoint, I would say um, it would be a good idea to add some more content onto your website. Um, it just gives you more of an opportunity to be able to add in those keywords and key phrases that people are searching for when they're looking for your services. Um, but it's a beautiful website. Your pictures are absolutely beautiful. So it's something that um, I certainly have enjoyed looking at and we want to make sure that you are on that first page of Google so everybody else can enjoy it as well. Um, but that's really all that I have for you as far as that goes. Um, the second thing that we'll talk about uh, are citations. And um, so I just pulled up a Google search for photographers in North Carolina. And this is the first thing that comes up here. This is called the Map Pack. And uh, the Map Pack has a lot to do with the citation. So um, what a citation is essentially is your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. Um, so you may be asking yourself, what is a directory and how the heck do I get myself listed in one of those? Um, so a directory would be anything like Facebook, which I know you have, which is great, um, Yelp, um, Yellow Pages, LinkedIn, and anywhere else online that allows business owners to add their business services and details. Um, those would be considered uh, directories. So in order to rank high on the maps here, you would need to be looking at your competition's directory listings and going out and getting yourself listed there as well. Um, you don't want to just stop there either though, whatever your competition has or wherever they're listed, you want to make sure that um, you get that, but then you add some. So you want to double or triple, you know, whatever your competition has. That way you can totally dominate them in that space and that will also help you to rank high um, here also. So um, we will move on to the last thing, which is going to be backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section down here underneath the maps. This is called the organic section. Um, and the way that backlinks work is basically there's a website out there that has a link to your website, uh, which is pushing power to your site and, of course, potentially um, driving traffic to your site as well. Um, but all backlinks are not created equal. So for instance, say that you took some pictures for somebody who owns an ice cream shop and they have decided to take a link from their site and uh, push one to your site. But unfortunately, that link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's really not going to be very helpful for you. Um, you would want to get a link from another photographer, another photography company that's pushing something back to your website saying, yes, she is a photographer or a photography company. Um, that's going to be a lot more powerful because it's unique, but it's also relevant to your industry. So looking at one of the tools that I have here, this is called Arifs, and I did pull your site up in it. It's not showing any data for you, uh, but I did pull up um, one of your competitors that's ranking very high on Google just to kind of show you um, what they have going on and kind of give you an idea of what we're talking about here. So uh, this is for fearless photographers, and it looks like they have um, over 3,000 referring domains giving them 243,000 backlinks, getting them found for over 19,000 keywords, and bringing them over 14,000 people to their website on a monthly basis. Um, so I did also pull up the keywords that they have here too, just so you can kind of see. Uh, when talking about keywords, you want to focus on having um, buyer intent keywords. So when someone says to themselves, I think I'd like to get some pictures taken and they're searching in Google for photographers around them. Um, anything that they type into that search bar, 
that is a buyer intent keyword. So like with a location and a service most of the time. And this section here is important as well. Uh, this is showing um, about how many searches per month that particular keyword or key phrase is getting. So for instance, like they have North Carolina wedding photographers and that has a high search volume. Um, so they're getting ranked for that. They also have a lot of different locations it looks like as well. Um, Washington DC, New Jersey, Colorado, Australia, and they just have a ton of keywords. Um, so those are some things to think about. Again, these are things that you're going to work into your content on your website. That way when Google kind of crawls your page, they're going to find all these things and they're going to say that's relevant to you and rank you for it. Um, and essentially, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places that they are. And again, you don't just want to stop there. You want to get whatever they have and add to that. Uh, that way you can just completely take over them and they won't be able to catch up with you. So that's pretty much all that I have for you. Um, I hope this video has been helpful and has been educational for you. If you have any other questions or if you want to learn more about how I can help grow your business online, please feel free to reach out to me and we can chat. Thank you for taking the time to watch this and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.